need to take my tablets at 9 o'clock. Okay, I'll remind you at 9 p.m. How smart gadgets are helping people with disabilities to enjoy a home of their own. Now, more of us than ever have voice control devices in our homes. They're nice to have, aren't they? But for people with disabilities, these devices can be a life changer. Turn kettle on. We'll be meeting Sam, who's getting a helping hand from her techno housemate. Good. Now, these days, we all rely on smart technology, whether you like it or not, like sat-nav to plan our routes and mobile phone to check our emails and even smart devices to remind us of our shopping lists. Well, now, these devices are helping those with learning difficulties, too, and helping them to give them more independence. Alexandra Hartley has been finding out more. Can you remind me to take my tablets at 9 o'clock? From everyday reminders... OK, I'll remind you at 9pm. ...to everyday tasks. Alexa, turn kettle on. Smart devices are helping to improve lives. It sort of like helps me with like my independence and saves the staff having to like tell me I have to go to day service. I can automatically set a reminder on my dot upstairs. I also set it for like appointments or meetings. Mark, you're going to show me how some of these devices work then. Okay. How about the TV? I understand you can turn it on without oh just waving. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. That, that what this is for, this is for people, people who haven't got a voice. Mark, along with Sam and Hannah, all have learning impairments and rely on support. They've been given the smart devices to help them live more independently. And with their help, Sam hopes one day she'll be able to live on her own. In the future, I'm hoping to um, move out into a visiting support house. So it'll help me... Um, to be able to do different things on my own without having the staff. I'm trying to get my grandmother and my auntie to have it so I can phone them then when uh, I'm in the house. The charity behind this initiative say the devices also help people with physical disabilities. So in this particular room we've connected a blind out here um, which can now be voice controlled. So if an individual wakes up in the morning then they would be able to ask um, Alexa in this case to open the blind um, and, and that would be done for them. So it would give them independence that they wouldn't have otherwise had. Can we uh, see it work? Yes, absolutely. So, um, Alexa, open the blind. And for those people who can't use voice-activated devices, there are things like this cube that if you shake, will turn the lights off. And if you flip, turn the lights back on again. The technology could also save lives with sensors that switch gas off and send alerts to support workers if there's an emergency. Lock the door for me, please. Of course, there are Hello. costs to consider, Hello. but if this is the future... Hello. Bye, Roger. It could change You're lives. Yeah. Alexandra Hartley, ITV News, in Cardiff. Quite well now. It's clever, isn't it?